Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about embrilliance and I'll be answering some basic questions. So let's get into it. So first we're going to open up embrilliance and if you have embrilliance essentials like I do, you're just going to click continue. The first thing we're going to answer is how to change the format. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on this little yellow folder. And then you'll see at the very top, there's a little drop down in the hoop section. And this is going to be all the different formats you can choose from and just click on the one that applies to your machine. For me, I have a brother machine, so that's a PES. Now let's look at how to change the hoop size. In the same setting, you're going to see all of these numbers. And if you are like me living in the United States, you don't exactly know what 50 by 50 mm is. But luckily for us, down underneath, it'll actually tell you it in inches. So you know, okay, this is a 5 by 7 or this is a blah, 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 blah. Mine is a 4 by 4, so it's 100 by 100. And then you're just going to press apply and then okay. Now let's talk about how to add fonts. This is the font button right where this little A is and here are all the different fonts but we want to know how to upload a new font. First let's go to Embrilliance. Using Embrilliance doesn't mean you're limited to the fonts that they sell because these ones that are $70 on sale for just $15 seems crazy to me. It might be a good deal if you liked all the fonts, but anyway, we're gonna go the free route. And of course you can use fonts that are sold on Etsy and various platforms. Go ahead and click the little search icon and type in free fonts. It should be the first one that says three free stitch based fonts. Once you click on it, you will see these three options pop up for almost fancy, blockish, and textured. These are the three free fonts that you get. So let's go ahead and download them. So click download the zipped file here. And since I have a Mac to make it easier, I'm just going to minimize the page and then go into my downloads and drag and drop it onto my desktop. So here you're gonna see all of the different fonts in the BX format. And you're also gonna see this PDF. This PDF is a set of instructions from Embrilliance on how to download the fonts. So the first one is what is a BX and how can I use it? And then the other one is how do I install it and so on and so forth. But you don't need that because we're going to go over it right now and it's super simple. So go ahead and select the one you want and drag it and drop it right into Embrilliance. Then you'll see the little pop-up saying that it's been installed and just click OK. So if you're first clicking into the font section of this drop down, you might not see it pop up right away. Just go ahead and click the font tool to add another layer. The reason it doesn't show up with the first one is because I already had it open previous to dropping in the font. So here is the font and let's go ahead and try it out. So this is the time where you're gonna play with it. So I'm gonna change the ABC to Robert, which is the name of my little hippo. I don't really like it, I'll be honest. This is why I didn't have this one downloaded on my computer already. So let's talk about what we can do about it because we don't want this to be one of our options if it's something that we know we're not gonna use. How to delete fonts from Brilliance. So here is where I found the information. I am gonna go ahead and link it in the description box below as well as on my blog post because you need a direct link in order to do this if you have a Mac computer. So if you have in Brilliance Essentials, they have a Windows and Mac instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and follow the Mac because that's what I have. First, we're going to copy this little section down here, minimize the screen and click onto your actual desktop. And then you'll see the go icon appear. Click on it and go all the way down to where it says go to folder. Click on that and this will pop up where it will say enter a path. That's where you're gonna enter that little link. And here are all the fonts that you've downloaded into in Brilliance. So we know that the gym folder is where this free font came from because that's what it was called on in Brilliance where we downloaded it. 
I'm just going to go ahead and take that entire folder and move it to the trash. And we have to close out in brilliance in order for the effect to be made. And then let's open it back up to double check that it worked. Go, and it's gone! No more fonts cluttering up your workspace. I'm so happy. There's actually a couple fonts in here that I want to get rid of just because they suck. But I'll do that later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. This video was requested, so if you do have any questions, I do read the comments and get to them as soon as I possibly can. Go ahead and leave me a comment, a like, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!